Okay, and welcome to Photoshop CS6, and we're going to be doing the desaturated look on an image. Now, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we reset Photoshop to our exact same look by making sure it goes back to its default. So press Control, Shift, Alt all together, and also click on the Photoshop icon. Now, this is going to bring up this dialog box saying that the user control that we have here, we want to make sure that everything goes back to its original file. So we click Yes. Once that's happened, it'll open up Photoshop, and hopefully yours will look exactly the same as this. You can maximize the view, so you can see that everything's there, so you've got the full screen to work with. And just to make sure that yours looks exactly the same as mine and something hasn't gone wrong, if you go to Window, Workspace, click on Reset Essentials, and that'll reset the essentials exactly how it's you see in front of you. Very quickly, you'll have your menu bar at the top, you have your Actions bar, which you have here, depending on which tool that you're using, it'll change with the tools that you use. Your toolbars on the left hand side. If you hover over any tool, it'll actually tell you what the tool is with a tool tip and also gives you a keyboard shortcut, which is in the brackets. On the right hand side, you've got your color picker here, you've got your adjustment layers, and you've also got your layers down here. Okay, so let's open up our first image by going to File, clicking on Open and you're going to select the beach image that you have and then click open. Now, before we start, we need to make sure that we copy this layer three times. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can click and drag that layer directly onto this new icon here, which says create new layer, or you can just press control J twice. One, two, and that gives us our three copies there. Keyboard shortcuts make your life a lot easier. Now what we're going to do is turn off the layer visibility, as you can see on the top layer here, and then we're going to click on this layer 1 here. You can see it's selected because it's gone blue through there. That means that this is the active layer that we're working on. And what we're now going to do is press Control, Shift and U. And what that does, it drains all of the colour out, which is desaturation. You can also get to that by going to Edit and also changing your desaturation from there. But that's the keyboard shortcut. Now, we're going to change our opacity back to 80% because what that'll do is bring some of the color which you can see in this layer underneath. Okay, now we're going to click back on our layer 1 copy, turn on the visibility so it's back on again, and this time we're going to change, this is what we call our blend mode, we're going to change that to soft light. And what you now have is a desaturated image that has a little bit of black and white coming through and a little bit of color shining through as well and just makes it look so much nicer. If you find that this is just a little too dark, like you can see here, if you press Control, Shift, Alt and E, that'll actually make a brand new layer that's got a combination of all of those layers through there. And then we can go to our adjustment layers here, and then we can click on Levels. And what you can do is just drag the sliders to where you need them to be. And you can see how it's just brightening up the image a little bit more. So you're just moving the different panels around, those different layers. Obviously, the layer to the left, that's for your darks, your midtones, and this is for your lightness through here. So you can make the changes that way. And you can also change and brighten up the image. You're going to bring back some of that color by using the gradient output here as well. And there you are. That's pretty much done. But for this image, I'm just going to darken it just a little bit more. There we go. And then just change it to your taste. 